Hi, this is Gali Gofar. Thank you very much for joining me here today. Today I'm going to be talking about foods and lifestyle changes that help manage osteoarthritis. Osteoarthritis is the most common debilitating joint disorder causing pain and significantly reducing the quality of life of people who suffer from it. Osteoarthritis is associated with the breakdown of the joint's cartilage and this, this is the rubbery uh, material that cushions the ends of most bones in most joints and is responsible for cushioning the joints and absorbing impact. Osteoarthritis affects an estimated 21 million people and has a direct and indirect effect on healthcare costs. Healthcare costs go to over $100 billion for osteoarthritis alone. And when the cartilage at the end of the bone wears down, bones could rub against each other, causing a lot of pain and stiffness of the joints and reduced joint movement. The most common joints involved are the hands, the neck, lower back, hips, knees, shoulders, and ankles. Joints on one side of the body are often more affected than those on the other side, depending on which side you use more. Osteoarthritis has no cure. Um, at present and only the symptoms are treated. The risk factors for osteoarthritis include advancing age as a result of the wear and tear and low-grade inflammation that often occurs with aging. Also being a female as well as being overweight, carrying this extra weight places a lot of stress on the weight-bearing joints. Also trauma, anyone who suffered um, an injury to the joints is at risk of developing osteoarthritis later in life. Even if injuries heal completely, they may eventually develop osteoarthritis in later years. Also certain occupations like uh, laborers or electricians are at risk because of repetitive stress on particular joints. And some people develop osteoarthritis due to genetic factors. The treatment is, once there is a diagnosis, um, conventional treatment often involves uh, using medications to control pain and inflammation. Since there is no cure for the joint dis uh, disorder, jo joint replacement therapy may be recommended. Um, most medications fail to provide relief, unfortunately. However, there is evidence that osteoarthritis can be prevented or its symptoms relieved by making lifestyle changes and eating a joint healthy diet. Certain foods have been shown to reduce inflammation, strengthen bones, and strengthen the immune system. So let's talk about the role of diet. Many foods can help prevent or slow down the progression of osteoarthritis. You should start by avoiding processed and refined foods and oils with a long shelf life and instead eat a diet rich in natural foods, including fruits, vegetables, nuts, seeds, legumes of all types, lentils, peas, beans, and whole grains. But specific foods can help reduce inflammation and protect the joints. Let's talk about these foods, that you wanna include them in your diet regularly to help ease the symptoms of osteoarthritis. Number one are omega-3 fatty acid rich foods, chia seeds, sea vegetables, walnuts, tofu, um, Brussels sprouts, um, flax seeds, uh, as well as green leafy vegetables have omega-3 fatty acids. And also there are supplements of omega-3 fatty acids from plant-based sources that you can use to ease joint pain and joint stiffness and swelling. However, I recommend dietary change as the first step before um, uh, commencing with any supplementation. So add these foods to your diet, add flax seeds, um, pour them, grind them, and then pour them on your oats in the morning, or add them to salads on top, add them to any foods, really basically chia seeds also have uh, are rich in omega-3 fatty acids, and when you add them to foods, um, they don't really change the flavor of the foods. They add a little bit of texture, but that's basically it, and they add a lot, a lot of nutritional value. Now also fruits and vegetables. Um, you wanna try at least to eat five servings of vegetables and at least two servings of fruits a day. 
Um, fruits and vegetables contain high levels of antioxidant vitamins and minerals and enzymes. And these antioxidants help scavenge free radicals and stop damage to the tissues. To ensure that your diet does not become monotonous, you want to add variety. And when it comes to veg vegetables, you want to choose the ripe, highly colored ones that are more nutrient dense and richer in antioxidants and anti-inflammatory flavonoids and carotenoids compared to their non-ripe versions. You want to aim to include broccoli in your diet and all the foods from the broccoli family um, as these contain sulforaphane which has been studied to slow the progression of osteoarthritis thanks to its antioxidant and anti-inflammatory activities. For cooking you want to use coconut oil with medium chain fatty acids which are passively absorbed by the body without the requirement for modification or energy for their absorption um, or their use as well. Um, they're, they're, um, they are known to have also antioxidant effects, medium chain triglycerides. You also want to consume beans and sprouted lentils. They provide fiber and can reduce inflammation on <laughs> and swelling of the joints through their mineral and vitamin and enzyme content. And also they have a low glycemic index, preventing spikes in blood, blood sugar levels, which promote inflammation. You also want to consume whole, whole grains. Uh, these should be part of your diet if you have osteoarthritis. Whole grains have essential nutrients needed to protect the cartilage and you can uh, get whole grains. Um, they are found in brown rice, whole uh, wheat, or whole spelt bread, um, any whole grain breads, oatmeals, quinoa, um, basically any whole grains are very, very good because they are rich in fiber and help reduce inflammation. Also mushrooms, uh, such as shiitake mushrooms, improve um, immune function and help reduce inflammation. Also turmeric and ginger, they are powerful anti-inflammatory um, uh, foods and I recommend taking a small piece of dried ginger after every meal. This also helps with weight loss, which will help reduce the burden on the joints. So instead of going for something sweet, you just wanna take a slight piece of ginger. It reduces your, uh, your need for anything sweet at the end of a meal, and it also has a lot of benefits. Uh, avocados um, have been found to help treat osteoarthritis. They prevent um, pro-inflammatory prostaglandin E2, production within the connective tissue. Avocados have been shown to restore synovial fluid in the joints and reduce friction and ease the pain. Evidence indicates that these oils found in avocados can slow down and uh, the damage to the joint and reduce the need for non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs. Also, uh, um, vegetables uh, such as garlic and onions, they help reduce inflammation and the expression of degrading enzymes linked with osteoarthritis. You want to eat foods also high in polyphenols, such as green tea, cloves, dark chocolate, berries, especially blueberries, and beans. According to a study um, from the Rheumatology Unit, um, Department of Medicine in the, at the University of Padova in Italy, polyphenols have been investigated extensively for their anti-inflammatory properties in many inflammatory chronic conditions such as rheumatoid arthritis and osteoarthritis and found to be very beneficial. Olives contain polyphenols and other compounds which have non-steroidal anti-inflammatory properties. And I also mentioned uh, turmeric as well, and nettle leaf are also excellent anti-inflammatory herbs. You can take them as food supplements or in tablet or tea form. Now let's talk about the lifestyle changes. There are also lifestyle changes that minimize the impact of osteoarthritis um, on your life. So let's talk about these. Number one, hydration. This is so important to drink sufficient amount of water to support joint cartilage from further wear and tear and to keep cartilage soft and hydrated. In general, a person needs about uh, 0.4 cups of water per kilo of body weight to stay hydrated. Um, I made a video on hydration to tell you exactly how to calc calculate your needs for hydration, so I recommend you watch that video. Also, um, you want to avoid foods that worsen uh, osteoarthritis, inflammation. Um, 
these aggravate inflammation within your body um, and help you manage any chronic conditions. So you want to stay away from processed sugars that release inflammatory cytokines. Um, these include sugar and high fructose sugar, high fructose corn syrup, uh, saturated fats, trans fats. Uh, found in animal products and vegetable and seed oils, which also trigger inflammation. Now, processed meat and refined carbohydrates also cause inflammation and should be avoided. You also want to maintain a healthy weight. As I mentioned before, there are many benefits to maintaining a healthy body weight, it, it, and it, this is even more crucial for people suffering from osteoarthritis. Less body weight means less pain and better joint function. Excess body weight adds stress uh, to your, your painful joints, causing more pain, more discomfort, and, and less will to leave the couch. So if you are overweight, um, you will also have more inflammation going on in your body. So weight loss should be a priority um, to reduce pain, and especially in the long term. If you want any help with weight loss, please join the Gorilla Diet online 12-week program which will help you achieve healthy weight loss. You can also read it in my um, uh, digestible, uh, easily digestible Gorilla Diet book, which is available on Amazon. You also wanna regular, uh, regularly exercise. Um, as I mentioned before, exercise can help improve joint pain and stiffness, reducing arthritis pain. Exercise enables you to control your weight also and lessens inflammation in your body. It strengthens your muscles around your joints, easing the pain, and it, it builds up willpower, which will help um, you in all other, um, help you maintain other good habits in your life. So the best exercises for people with arthritis include um, uh, water um, exercises such as aerobic water uh, exercise under the water and swimming um, as well as uh, walking of course if you can now you want to manage your chronic pain naturally um, you can do this uh, through acupuncture um, certain massages and Tai Chi um, acupuncture involves inserting these thin needles into specific body points to stimulate the nerves and connective tissue and this has been shown to help activate the pains the body's natural painkillers um, now there are also uh, supplements that can help uh, reduce inflammation and reduce pain so let's talk about these um, and acetylcysteine um, MSM uh, methyl sulfonyl methane, zinc, um, ester C, which is vitamin C um, in this form, L lysine, elderberries, and vitamin B12. So these are supplements that you can take. You can buy them in a health food shop and um, or online, of course, and these will help you reduce the pain naturally. If hip replacement, replacement is required, it is good to get ready um, with the uh, get your willpower <laughs> um, ready, you will need to start moving yourself immediately after a hip replacement operation. And I know this is very painful. It is a painful operation. Um, however, exercise, uh, if commenced immediately after the operation, um, uh, although difficult to tolerate, will help you heal much quicker and much more completely because exercising prevents excessive scar tissue from forming around the joint, which will later prevent full range of motion after the healing occurs. So um, being sedentary can also raise your risk for blood clots. I recommend watching my video that I made on how to heal from injuries and surgery in the best possible way. Um, you can see a link at the end of this video so or in the description below. Thank you very much for joining. I really hope this has helped you. If it did, please give it a thumbs up. Please also subscribe to my channel if you like this type of content and visit my website, thegorilladiet.com to help you um, uh, lose weight and achieve all of your health goals. Thank you very much for joining.